Hello everyone, how you doing? Um, hope you're enjoying your weekend. I wanted to take a minute here. Um, I wanted to discuss a couple of things real quick. Number one, there's a lot of rumors going around about the recent developments with the photo leak. And um, I can confirm that someone involved in the leak has died by suicide. Um, I can also confirm that it was not Mark Robert. I have had Mark Robert on my show before, and um, the person that passed away was not Mark Robert. Um, I think it's important to note here that I don't feel like Mark did anything wrong. And also, I am 100% truthful here. Mark's not where I got them. I mean, I know that. He wouldn't have given them to me anonymously. He would have just said, hey, man, do you want these? You know, he kind of hinted that he had them. And I didn't say anything because, you know, I wasn't looking for them. So uh, Mark is a good guy. Um, he uh, wasn't the original source of the leaks. In all the time that we talked, he gave me a lot of really good information. And I never got the feeling that he was trying to nudge me either way. He gave me stuff that made Richard Allen look innocent. And he gave me stuff that made Richard Allen look guilty. So in the end, bottom line, I think Mark's goal was the same as mine, which we're going to get to in a second here. Um, if you haven't already, the best update you're going to get about any of this right now is from Murder Sheet. They put out a special uh, episode. I think they were wanting to put it out on like Monday or Tuesday, and they decided they needed to get it out now. Um, but I think if you haven't watched that yet, immediately after you get done watching this video, go watch that or listen to it. I mean, I'm sorry. They're a podcast. Um, but yeah, they uh, go through um, basically the chain of events, what's happened, um, and they give you the Joe Friday, uh, just the facts. So go ahead and check that out. Now, when you're listening to that podcast, you're going to hear them making comments about how they feel about people discussing what was in the photos. Okay. And as you know, after very careful consideration, I chose to talk a little bit about what I saw in the photos. Um, so in a way they were talking to me and they were telling me that they thought it was irresponsible. And um, I respect that. Um, I respect Kevin and Anya, and we've discussed it since, and we both agree that this is, we may have differences of opinion along the way, but it's not going to affect our friendship. I'm still looking forward to going to Wrigley Field with them. You see, that's what adults do, okay? Adults may not see eye to eye on everything, but they put their friendship first, and everything else just falls into line, okay? So you don't have to agree 100% with me. You never did, okay? Um, now, why I feel, you know, what my, why my choice was the right one for me, okay? Um, I've said many times before that there are a lot of issues that are moral issues, and you can be moral on either side of them. Number one, I feel like abortion is a moral issue. You can be a moral on either side of that issue. Uh, the death penalty. Another moral issue. Either side, you can still be moral. And this is one of those issues where I feel like you can be moral on both sides. I agree with Kevin and Anya. I agree with the reasons why they felt like they didn't want to share uh, what they saw. And I fully support them. However, <laughs> having said that, I did have some thoughts. Um, my reason, and I feel Mark Roberts' reason, for sharing information from that was that I feel the two main things that I wanted to bring out from what I saw were the fact that the crime scene was pristine. I mean, undisturbed, no drag marks, no footprints I could see, 
no blood, things like that, right? Um, I think that's important. And you heard hints of it before. You've heard people talk about it before. I think Ron Logan talked about it. Um, Robert Ives started talking about it. Um, Robert Ives in the beginning gave us a lot of information. And then everyone else stepped in with the, you know. And I feel like there has been more secrecy around particularly the crime scene with this case than with any other murder case I've ever looked at. Um, and as far as people saying that it's because Richard Allen can't get a fair trial if a lot of this gets out, Timothy McVeigh, do you think he got a fair trial? Is there anybody above the age of eight years old in 1997 that didn't know who Timothy McVeigh was, that didn't know what Timothy McVeigh had done, that didn't know that there were dead babies pulled out of that rubble? But he got a fair trial because Americans, people in general, but Americans in our justice system have an uncanny ability when they step into that jury room to realize the importance of what they're doing. And I mean that. There have been rare cases where juries have decided, you know what? Screw the evidence. I'm going to vote how I feel. But there's only been very, very rare occasions where that succeeded. One I can think of right off the top of my head, O.J. Simpson. Now, I feel like the two most important things that have been withheld from the public all this time is how clean the crime scene was and how definitely not random the sticks were. Okay, the sticks were not used to conceal. You can barely see them, really. You got to really kind of focus in. To draw the diagram that I did, I had to enlarge the areas and look at the sticks. This was not done to conceal or to build a, a hut out of sticks and mud and leaves like the professor in Gilligan and stuff, Gray Hughes. So, no. This was not random. It's one of the lies that we've been told by these creators that for some reason or another have decided, hey, Richard Allen's guilty. We don't need a trial. So that, number one, was the main reason I did it. Top, top right at the top of the list. Because I feel like we should know these things. Why? Because... We are society. This was done to us, too. This was done to us, too. All those people in Delphi were told the next day, ah, oh, nobody has anything to worry about. When they knew, when they knew, there's no way one man did this. And I'll tell you, the families were told in the very early stages, and I've told you this before, and it came directly from a source within the family that I will not talk about because I told them I wouldn't reveal their name, but the families were told it, within the first week of the investigation, expect more than one arrest. And now we have one arrest. Have you heard about them looking for any more? Doesn't seem to me like they're doing anything about it. So I felt like we needed to know. We needed to know that, that crime scene says that there's no way one man did this. Now, if one of the people that did it was Richard Allen, great. We got him. Put the needle in him. I don't care. But who else was in on it? And once again, I ask you, what if Richard Allen didn't do it? So that's all I got for you right now. Uh, 
if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, go ahead and do that. Share this video. Um, people need to know Mark Robert did not kill himself. Um, but definitely check out Murder Sheets' uh, latest podcast. All right. You guys enjoy your weekend. I'll see you at my next live.